Hi, I'm Susie from Nail Care Education, and I put these edge nails on last week. You can see the video for that on my YouTube channel. But it really looks cool with the edge nail with a solid color. So I'm going to do that today. We found some decals, really cool ones. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the gray. I'm gonna do a black with a design too, but I'm gonna do the gray as the demo, and then I'll show you the reveal in the couple of colors. So it looks really cool. So one of the girls found this in my drawer, and that's what makes it look really cool too, is these decals on top. You can paint them on. As you know, watching some of my videos, you see me hand paint stuff, but these are decals, and they make it a lot easier. One of the girls in the salon, she doesn't really like to hand paint stuff, but she loves decals, so. She put these on and they looked really cool. So let's do those today. So we're gonna put two coats of this color. I wanna definitely put two so I can cover this strong glitter underneath. This polish is really good coverage. You can start to see the edge point right up. That's why it looks really cool with a solid color. It defines the shape much more. Because these are so huge, <laughs> the nails that is, you can paint the ends, especially if you've got a glitter under there. Some of you were concerned about me painting, as you've seen in some videos, and then painting right again. This particular polish, this is uh, Infinity Shine 2 by Opia, and it does dry really fast. But even if a polish doesn't dry really fast, you can paint one coat right after the other right away, especially with the new polishes out nowadays. They're pretty good. If you're concerned, just give it a little wave. But you can see this is starting to dry up already. So I'm just gonna paint my second coat. I chose the gray because I think it goes really well with the silver decal that I'm gonna put on. And if you make a boo-boo like I just did, take your cuticle stick. It's so tempting to do it with my finger. And I usually do. I'm trying to be professional. If this is a client, you wanna use it cuticle stick. Okay, it is drying pretty fast, but this does have a stickiness to it, this thing. So you can see there's several choices. There's this chain looking one, there's these little swirls. Apparently I like this one, I've used a few. And then thicker swirls, and these kind of different kind of swirls. So I think I'm gonna pick this one here. So these decals are stuck on this piece of paper, and it comes in like a long chain. Kind of gently pull it up and then it's easier when you're doing this on a client of course than yourself i'm just going to cut it at this point this looks really cool when you lay it down it's got a bit of an attitude so i'm not going to lay it on the top i could but i kind of want to lay it on the one side right down the side there look at that see it's sticking to me that's how sticky it is it's a pretty good stick tempted to do it with your finger, but you might leave fingerprints if you press too hard. So just use a cuticle stick, and you can see it presses down really nice. And when you cut the end, a little tip, cut it a little shy of the end, rather than leave an overhang, because it doesn't really do well. If it gets a little edge there and it gets pulled up, it could pull the rest of it up. So try to be a little shy of the end. That just brings it from a plain designs, kind of a medieval kind of a look. Well, that's looking really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones now with the same stuff. I really like hand-painted designs. I think it gives a very organic, natural look, but I mean, you couldn't get it quite as accurate possibly with your hand painting. Well, I guess you could if you're really good at it. This really does make it very, very uniform, very accurate, very, um, like jewelry. It is very sticky. Once I stick it down, it, it really doesn't want to be reapplied. So when you're sticking it down, make sure you're putting it in the right spot that you want it to go, because it really doesn't like to change its mind. I think if I go too long, it gets sort of misshaped. So let's try to find what might be the length of the actual nail. Because I don't want to waste it either. 
I don't know where I got this. I went to a spa show actually with huge nail representation there. So we had lots of booths to choose from. And I love going to those things, they're so fun. And then uh, I saw this booth with these little decals and I bought gold and silver. And I haven't really used them until, like I say, we were messing around the other day in the shop and found them. I love finding stuff like that. I'm gonna have to be on the hunt for some more. There's some shows coming up soon. I'm gonna have to head down, to check them out, see if they got anything new. Oops, I'm not quite shy enough of the edge. Cool. Oh man, that is pretty. One more finger. It's just a little finger, so, well, littler. Then I can top coat this. Ooh, this is kind of big. I'm gonna have to cut. It's bigger than my actual side of the finger. So I'm gonna have to do a little trimming. These scissors are handy. There we go, that looks good. Okay. Now let's put a top coat on it. Any top coat would be good, whatever top coat that you like. Make sure everybody's stuck down because you don't want to stick it down after the top coat goes down. The top coat just seals it in there. You can also apply these stickers on gel. It would work as well. You probably would do your two coats of color, of course cure it, and then lay your sticker in, and then put your top coat on, and then put it in the machine to cure it for the proper amount of time. And same design, everything. It would look exactly the same. If you use the same colors of stuff, of course. And then when you have to remove that, you could just file it off and it'll just peel right off. There you go. Not that you'd want to be able to do dishes, but it should be strong enough to do dishes. We'll just keep that to ourselves though. Nobody needs to know that. We can't do dishes. Mm -mm. These are not dishes and nails. Nice. Let's look at some reveal pictures. Well, I hope you like those reveal pictures. The black looks really cool too, doesn't it? And you know, you don't have to do it on long nails. You can do this on short nails too. I just had the long nails and thought I'd put it on. That makes quite an impact. But the short nails would look really cool too. This would be very effective. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll catch all my new videos coming out soon.